easiest way to do it is just start from the guillotine. So I give the kid the guillotine, he sits back. As he goes, I always block the opposite side, right? So my head's on his right, I'm gonna pass my legs to his left. So the important part for me is actually the hand on the knee, okay? Not because I wanna shove his leg down, but because I want a reference of to, uh, where I need to jump, right? So I can always jump over my hand, but I can't see his knee. So I have no idea where his knee is until my hand is on it. So now I go, I drive forward, I pass his leg by, and as I get past the guard, I'm pinching his wrist with my shoulder here, and I'm driving my body up. So I want his shoulder to go high into his neck. Yeah, get your hand out of there. Okay, so I haven't locked it in yet. It's hard for him to get his hand out. Yeah. Now imagine if you had MMA gloves on. This palm down, the one behind his head. I lock up my gable grip, and then I basically find his neck with my shoulder here. And then I just let my hips drive, I let gravity do the work, and he'll nope. pass out. No, nope, just go out, just go yeah. out, show sure. <laughs> <laughs> so. so he goes for the guillotine, boom, as he sits, I hop, but I'm driving my body that way to catch that arm. And then just, I just have to have that like sensitivity to find his neck with my shoulder. So tuck your chin. So a lot of guys will like, they'll be up here smashing the face. Just just feel around, right there. Boom. If I'm having a hard time getting it, do a back step. So you're choking with shoulder, right. shoulder, shoulder and upper this, arm. That right there. Yep. So his, what are you feeling around for? Like his neck. Like, yeah, right here. Soft. Yes, that's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere around there. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. So that's, that's what I want, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you gotta make more noise. Yeah, it does. Cool.